guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be I'm going to be teaching you three techniques on how to paint in watercolor in trees. And we're going to be using a thin round brush like that. So oh and we're also going to be using a fan brush. So let's get started. But first, I'll give you time to gather your materials. Okay, so um, you can pause this video and get your materials. But right now, I'll show you which materials to get. So you need two fan brushes, or one. I have two, one smaller and one bigger, but you can just use one. And a thin brush, like I showed you before. Right now, they're covered in a paint so they're going to be soaking in the water which I have a cup of water and my watercolors so three techniques we're going to be starting with the simple one the dead tree so get some brown on your brush and wait technique one right so I just want a label. Okay, now we can start. Okay, so get some brown on your brush, and then make a thin, thick trunk. It's going to be thick, and then you're gonna get thinner and thinner. And then go up and spread to the side. Spread out. And then put that in the middle and go thinner and thinner. Simple, right? Okay. Now you can fill it in with a couple brush brush strokes. You can make it yours thinner. It doesn't matter how you do it. it, it's just what you like, so what you prefer. So we were continuing with the branches, and you can do one another one right here. We're gonna go over the rest so it's like as dark as this. So it, it, I know it looks a little strange right now. You need to make it a little thinner. It's the tip of the brush. I could have made the branches way thinner. It's just hard to do it because I made it so liquidy, so. And then also do one here. It doesn't matter where you put them. And now I'm just gonna go over it so it doesn't look so strange. Because it's different color. Yes, so. Okay. And I'm gonna add. So that was the first one. But we don't have to do waste time doing the second one either. So let's just get started on number. Technique number two. That one looks way different. Okay. <laughs> We're going, we don't need the fan brushes just yet. We're going to need, we're going to still use a brown. We're going to make a pine tree. Yeah. So, still start off with a normal stump. Like that. And make it very thin. Okay, good. Now, put that in the water. And then rinse it off and then put it in the green. And you could have already, um, I don't have a pencil. Uh, wait one second, let me get a pencil. And okay, so I got a pencil. We're going to lightly sketch, very lightly. Kind of like
a triangle. Just very lightly. Okay, now back to the green. Stay inside the triangle and just make little marks like that. Yeah. So I'm going to speed this up so it goes a little faster. So as you can see, I finished with the little dot thingies and I did the tree. So it's still really wet and I think that's basically it. You could also add a few branches peeking out from the pine, but if you want to keep it simple, you could just go with this. And yeah, so I think while we wait for that to dry, let's move on to, wait. Technique number three. Gets redder and redder. Okay. For this, I have a fan brush. And I'm going to make kind of like a cherry blossom tree. But first, of course, like any other tree, start off with the trunk. I'm going to make it very, very thin because this is going to be a very delicate tree. See how thin I'm, I'm doing it with the very tip of the brush so it doesn't get very thin. I made it kind of small. Just gonna wait for that to dry. While we wait for that to dry, I think we can add in a few branches on here. Now, I'm not that great at the branches. We'll try it though. Very tip, right peeking out. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> try and do it with the tip of the brush like I did for the other cherry blossom. Kind of like that. Of course, you could do without the branches. Yeah, the the cherry blossom tree is still wet, but we can just. Uh, so, listen to this music while it dries. of the fan brush with red and now we're going to start oh I'm scared this is gonna work this is gonna work okay okay one second one second okay get a little high up there it's a little low right there Good. It's not the perfect, it's not the most perfect, but if you practice, I'm sure it'll, it'll, you'll get it. Doesn't look that bad though. In fact, I'm gonna make it a little bit more autumn-y by adding a little bit of orange. Back, some could have fallen on the ground. Okay. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, I 
think personally these two are my favorite, but it's your decision. And I hope these help you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.